energy and the environment with the renewables family. Hi there. Welcome to Energy Land, a place where the electricity never goes out and they have lots and lots of lovely water. I wonder why that is. Let's meet the Renewables family. They live in Energy Land. Maybe they can answer some questions for us about energy and the environment. This is Ernie G. Renewables. He's the dad of the family. Hello everyone, I'm Ernie G. Renewables. His friends call him Sparky because they say he's bright and because he's an electrician. This is his wife, Sue P. R. Renewables. She's a housewife. Hello everyone, I'm Ernie G's wife, Sue P. R. Renewables. Her friends call her Super Sue because she can do 10 things at once, it seems. But that's just like all mums, really, isn't it, kids? And these are their children, Pete and Penny Renewables. Hello, everyone. I'm Penny, and this is my twin brother, Pete. Our friends just call us Penny and Pete, says Penny. The Renewables family have some pets, too. Do you want to meet them? OK, here they are. This is Windmill the dog and his friend, Sola the cat. Oh, look, I can see how they got their names, can you? Windmill the dog's tail spins round and round when he's happy. Look at the wind his tail makes. It knocks everything over. That's a lot of energy. Wow, see how big and bright Sola the cat's eyes are. I can see how these animals got their names. Can you? This is the home of the Renewables family. It looks a bit different to my home. What about you? I wonder what all these things are. Let's ask the Renewables family. Hey, Ernie, what are all these things around your house? These are solar panels. Did you say these are solar's panels? What would a cat do with these? No, silly. They are solar panels, not solar's panels. This is a wind turbine. It looks just like Windmill's tail, doesn't it, kids? These are solar garden lights. This is a solar water heater. These are our solid waste management containers. These are our rainwater collection gutters. This is our grey water harvest tank. Grey water? But I thought water was clear, didn't you, kids? Grey water is what we call water which we have used for washing, cleaning and bathing. This is our composting area. 
This is our vegetable garden. Wow, those vegetables sure look nice, don't they, kids? Yes, they are. And we don't use any chemicals to help them grow. This is our compost toilet. You put compost in the toilet. Doesn't that clog it up? No, silly. The waste from the toilet turns into compost that we use in the garden. Wow, that's really something we'd like to learn about, isn't it, kids? Thanks, Ernie. We'll come back later and you and your family can tell us more about these things. OK, there seems to be some really interesting things going on at the Renewables House. We will definitely come back and visit to find out more about why the Renewables family have all these things that we don't have in our homes and how important they may be in the future. I have a feeling that finding out more about these things will answer our question about why there is always electricity in energy land. But first, we need to understand some very important things about how things work in our world. In particular, we need to learn about energy and the environment. Let's move on. Are you ready? In our next movie, we will begin with energy. See you soon.